The Jubilee Coalition have asked the court leadership to ensure their rally does not disturb the peace. President Uhuru Kenyatta has warned that though the constitution allows for freedom of assembly and expression, the government will not allow politicians to make statements that would incite the public to violence. The burial of the late Gatundu South MP Joseph Ngugi drew the Kenyan leadership to Kiambu. President Uhuru Kenyatta and Deputy President William Ruto led 65 members of parliament in paying their last tributes to the fallen leader and it is this guest list that influenced the tone of the speeches. Their immediate target was the code rally scheduled for tomorrow in Nairobi. Na hivi umerudi Kenya iendelee kuwa na amani. Kama una haja na kiti njoo utuulize kiti kwa unyenyekevu mwaka wa 2017. Sio sahihi. And I want to request my fellow colleagues politicians across the political divide in Jubilee and Court to resist any effort to polarize divide and create animosity in our country once more. Mimi maneno ya while you are away siwezi kuongea. Watu wakitaka wafanye sherehe, wakitaka wafanye harusi, wana haki kikatiba, wa Kenya ndio walichagua hii serikali. Hatukuchukua na nguvu, hatukuchukua kupitia bunduki. And having supported the lifting of the ban on rallies, the president is now asking leaders to use the public platforms responsibly. Kenya is a democratic state. It is not a dictatorship. From the time of our independence, we have never failed every five years to hold an election. There will be another one coming. Bid your time. Work with us to transform this country in the meantime. Work with us to transform this country in the meantime. Kenya will never again walk the route, the slippery route of hate and negative ethnicity and tribalism. We said that route never. The late Gatundu South MP Joseph Ngugi, who died at the age of 45 years, was eulogized by family and friends as a hard-working and development conscious leader. We have a serious drug problem, illicit brews in this country. And Jose and wife and family had even given one of their homes in Luda to rehabilitate our brothers and sisters who have overindulged. As a father, you showed me great love and wanted nothing but the best for me. A special dad is hard to find. I wish you could have stayed forever. You left me so young. You are my best friend. The late Ngugi was pronounced dead Wednesday last week at the Nairobi Hospital Clinic in Gigiri, where he was rushed after collapsing in the bathroom at his Runda home. He was buried at his home in Gatundu. To the voters of Gatundu South, Ngugi's death might have come too soon before they could realize the fruits of his leadership. The late Ngugi leaves behind his wife Joyce and two sons. Patrick Amimo, KTN, Gatundu South constituency.